Today, we'll make the following video in Canva. Once upon a time, in a cozy town, there was a small bakery called Sweet Success Bakery. It was run by Emma. Emma wanted to grow her business, so she hosted a grand opening event and used social media to attract more customers. Next, she introduced gluten-free and vegan options, which boosted her popularity. To handle the increased demand, she invested in new equipment and hired more staff. Emma then launched an online store and partnered with a delivery service, doubling her sales. With her business thriving, she opened a second location in a busy part of town. Now, Sweet Success Bakery is well known and successful, thanks to Emma's hard work and smart decisions. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you'll need is the voiceover for your animation. You can either record your own or use Eleven Labs to create an AI voiceover, which is what I have used. I'll leave a link to a tutorial on this in the description. Next, open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a YouTube Shorts crop, but you can follow along with whatever dimensions suit your project. First, let's create our illustrated graphics using AI. Open the app section and search for the Magic Media app. Open the graphics panel and as you will see, this tool works similarly to the AI image generation tool. But now we can select graphical styles from this section. The hand-drawn style is the most suitable for whiteboard animations. Feel free to experiment with others if desired. Let's have a listen to the opening scene from our voiceover. Once upon a time in a cozy town, there was a small bakery called Sweet Success bakery. It was run by Emma. So we need two elements for our first scene, a small bakery and a female baker. Let's create the bakery with a basic prompt. As per usual, you may need to repeat the generation process until you get the results you need. Let's go with this one. You may notice that the graphic includes wording. Let's change that to something more suitable. Select the graphic, then click on edit image and select the grab text tool. Click on the wording and select grab. This tool identifies the text in the graphic and reimagines it with a font that is close to the original so we can edit it. Pretty cool, right? Update the text and resize to your liking. Let's move on to the Baker graphic as before. Enter a basic prompt and repeat until you find a suitable character. When you find one you like, it's a good idea to generate more like this so we can fine tune the original. Let's put a label on Emma's garment so she is easily identified in later scenes. Copy the same font from the bakery graphic and resize. At this point, you can add some extra elements like clouds to spruce up the design. Finally, let's change the background color of the canvas by sampling a light color from one of the graphics. Now, let's quickly do the second scene before moving on to the animations. Add a new page and copy the bakery graphic from page one. Now that we know more about our baker's characteristics, we can request these features in a new prompt, something like female baker with dark hair using a computer. Next, a group of people eating cake. And let's open the Elements tab and search for an arrow to bring everything together. Continue with this process until you have completed all of the scenes for the video. Then export all pages as PNG files. Create a new design in the same dimensions as before and import all of the PNG files, creating a new page for each one. Import the voiceover audio file and place it on the bottom of the timeline. Then change the duration of each page so it aligns with the scenes like so. Once upon a time in a cozy town, there was a small bakery called Sweet Success Bakery. It was run by Emma. Now, move the selector to the end of each scene. Go back two seconds, then right-click and select Split Scene. You'll see why we do this later. 
Open the Apps section and search for the Speed Painter app. This app comes with two settings, duration of the sketch and duration of the color fill. I find it most effective to set a shorter sketch duration so the viewer gets an idea of what the image is straight away. Select the first image in the timeline, then set your timings, making sure they equate to roughly the same length as the image duration. When you are ready, select Generate. Enlarge the video so it covers the entirety of the canvas, then place a dissolve transition between the video and image pages. Let's review the first scene. Once upon a time, in a cosy town, there was a small bakery called Sweet Success Bakery. It was run by Emma. Emma wanted... Nice. Before we start on the next scene, let's place a slide transition between the next pages, so it appears like we are moving to a new whiteboard. You can alternate the direction of this transition throughout the video. Repeat this process for the rest of the scenes in the video. Now, let's open the audio panel and find some suitable music. I think an elegant French piece would be most fitting for this animation. Reduce the volume of the music track, then it's time to preview the final video. Once upon a time, in a cozy town, there was a small bakery called Sweet Success Bakery. It was run by Emma. Emma wanted to grow her business, so she hosted a grand opening event and used social media to attract more customers. Next, she introduced gluten-free and vegan options, which boosted her popularity. To handle the increased demand, she invested in new equipment and hired more staff. Emma then launched an online store and partnered with a delivery service, doubling her sales. With her business thriving, she opened a second location in a busy part of town. Now, Sweet Success Bakery is well-known and successful 